Tyler Perry has been longtime friends with the Sussexes and this literally made them very close. However, Tyler confirmed that the Sussexes aren't together cause of Harry's absence at home and knowing how close he is with the Sussexes it's hard for someone to say he is lying. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex resigned as working royals, they decided to relocate and move away from Britain so, they went to the US to stay there and Tyler first welcomed them in his home together with Meghan then after the Sussexes had their own house in which they are now presently. Recently, Meghan and Harry had had series of problem and this has caused their split even though they both are denying the fact that they are not together it's hard to actually believe them. Moreover, it all started when Harry came back from his father's coronation, he did not go straight to his home he rather stayed in a hotel and has been there for like weeks now no one seemed to know the reason why he is there but people speculate that it's because he has problems with his wife and has the intention of leaving her. This isn't much of a shock cause the both of them have been very distant from each other and the fact Meghan is too materialistic and cares about her own self has made it difficult for Harry to continue with such a person. Furthermore, Harry is regretting his marriage to Meghan even though at that time he had no choice but they both aren't compatible anymore. Well whatever stage they are now in their relationship one is certain they are no longer together. Tyler wants the same things as Prince Harry. A Jasmine Blues is a new film by the actor and director. The hosts brought up the story of how the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex were able to find a place to stay in Los Angeles after they stepped back as working members of the royal family in 2020. It was a tough time for them. I wish the world knew how much they love each other, because that's what I know about them. They found each other, despite the odds against them. I wanted to support them because of the love they have for one another. He said, if I don't have that, what she and Harry have, I don't want it. According to an interview with The Cut, the Mady director got in touch when she married Prince Harry to let her know he was praying for her and that he could only imagine what it was like. He said he would always be available for support or advice. Although they hadn't met in person, they reached out to each other two years later to help each other out as they stepped back from royal life. You can tell your life story to a stranger on a plane as opposed to some of the people that are closest to you, she said. The couple bought a property in Montecito, Santa Barbara County, after using the director's estate for their new life in the US. They were given a grand piano as a gift and were told to write the soundtrack for their life.